you go. Oh, great, thanks. Cheers. Mm. Good question. Thanks. Anyway, while I was making your tea, hmm. strength and balance is on the map, physical activity guidelines kind of on the map, kind of a spinner from that, mm -hmm. agreed, and the new one's about to come out. Any minute. Are you excited? Not really. Of course I am. Okay. 6th of September. Ooh. Make a date. Make a date. You're going to celebrate? Uh, I might have a, 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 a coffee or two. Might go for a walk. I might. You never know. There is one question I've got about these physical activity guidelines and, and something else. So it talks about uh, aerobic fitness, so our guidelines uh, to, in terms of intensity, it talks about the moderate message, mm -hmm. 150 minutes, the vigorous, 75. Yep. If you're active, you can go into yeah, vigorous, yeah. yeah. Um, there's nothing about kind of the fartlek approach in there. It doesn't, I mean, I know it doesn't do the detail, but the, the, the fartlek thing that we talk about on fame and the, the you know, the cows, others, fartlek. That's because the physical activity guidelines don't tell you how to achieve your 150 minutes of moderate or your. And you didn't have them, didn't you, back in the day for fame? You didn't. No, have, fame. You didn't have those guidelines. Were no physical activity guidelines back then. No. Yeah. All we have is the ACSM guidelines, and the important thing in there was that not everybody is is starting from an active point. They fatigue very quickly, hmm. and therefore, if you want to build them up into a point where they're at moderate intensity. And they're deconditioned. They can only stay up there for a fairly mm. short period of time. Yeah. They'll get breathless very quickly, so it'd be uncomfortable. And with our fallers, we wanted to build up as long as we could in that moderate intensity. And the best way of doing that is with the good old fartlek approach, which is interval training. And there's lots of research to suggest you can work with people for longer in a session at moderate if you do it in an interval approach than if you just try and get them up there and stay up there. I looked that up, Fartlek. Did you? Mm. It's a lovely name, isn't it? Speed play. Speed play. And it's life, isn't it? Life's speed play. Life's all about speed play. I mean, it's not likely that your fallers are currently running for the bus, but if they get knocked and mm. they've got to do a quick move, but more importantly, if they can see a friend at the end of the aisle in the, in the shopping area, they do a little bit of a quicker walk, and then they'll slow down again. It's, mm. it's really important to get used to changing speed. Pace. Speed yeah. changing pace. Playing definitely. with speed. Playing with speed. Or actually perhaps playing with range of movement to increase intensity. Mm. That will focus for older people perhaps. And we certainly found in the original FAME programme that in the very early days where you're skilling them up, it had to be a fairly short session because even with speed play, that could wear them out enough that the rest of the class longer recovery was harder. Right? So Absolutely, increase the recovery. Yeah, and as time went on, you could see that they were recovering more quickly in those in those active rests. Um, they were far more able to cope with the balance and strength work that that followed. It's it's really important to think about that aerobic part, and to include your fart leg approach, your interval training. And it's not just about the intensity, is it? So it's about the recovery. Mm. It's as important and maybe for older people reinforcing the fact that, you know, they understand they're gonna recover. Yes. That that's gonna happen. And that, to bring to their attention that they're recovering more quickly as yeah, time goes yeah, on. Yeah, so let's go again then. Yeah, but once exactly. unless I feel that I recover, um but so also, education just that, coming back to safety. Safety. If you just increase their intensity to get them up to that moderate level for that individual, which will be different around the room, mm. and you keep them there, and it becomes too much, they will just suddenly stop. Stop. Yeah. And that means, because of their unfortunately less good vascular yeah, system, not safe. you will it's in get the booth. yeah, the, the yeah. blood will literally pool around their feet, and and they will so you'll get dizziness, you'll get yeah. all sorts of things going on. So for them to understand that in anything in life, when they get that bit out of breath because they've done something, a, you know, a little bit more intensity, the thing isn't they shouldn't just stop. stop. So like, they walk should... up the stairs, stop. Yeah. yeah. No. Move away, <laughs> keep moving. Yes. 
um, and just do it in a slower mm. Mm. pattern, but don't just stop. Mm. So it, it, it translates into other things in daily life. It's a bit like the, the pedal when you first stand up to stop the postural yeah, hypertension. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, this is where we're bringing in strategies for a safer, uh, more active and engaged life. And fart leg training is perfect for that. You can get all of that education in while you're doing your interval training. So strength and balance is on the map. We can't lose all the other components. Fame has dynamic endurance, which should be an effective aerobic curve. It has the fart leg at the top of the curve. And um, we need to talk about that, talk about breathlessness, mm. talk about recoveries. And you know, come back to the fact that the vast majority of older people are so deconditioned that something which is a moderate activity for you and I has become a vigorous act. It's, mm. it's using that much more of their maximal oxygen uptake. If you, I've met people who are so de- it's not asthma, it's not COPD, but they're so deconditioned that walking across the room a bit brisker gets them out of breath. They immediately pull back because they're thinking, I'm worried about my health. There's nothing wrong with their health. It's just that their body is not used to using the oxygen that they're getting in. Mm. Um, and the only way you can increase the duration of walking and then hopefully build to brisker walking, which is good for bones, etc., mm. later on when mm. you've got them steady, is to ensure that they actually have the aerobic capacity in order to do that further distance. I mean, one of the biggest reasons why many older people will pull back on habitual activity is that they start getting breathless. And mm. for them to understand that, it's just because they haven't, their mm. aerobic capacity is poor and they need to work on endurance. It's okay. And, it, and again, it's just like strength. The worse they are, the quicker the improvements happen. Yeah. So you will see with the fart leg training approach, within a matter of weeks, that their recovery is speeding up, mm. that they're lasting longer into a session. You don't, you know, you're not looking at them going, well, I better slow this one down. I can't answer the question. Okay, I'll shut up. Um, what, when did you say the physical activity guidelines were being? 6th of September. Should we go out and celebrate? Let's go and celebrate. Okay, good. We know how to live. <laughs> you won't be able to cup of tea while the rest of it. Okay. <laughs>